How do you get your first legal nurse consulting case? I'm Pat Iyer, and I've been a legal nurse consultant since 1987. And what matters to you is that I've walked in your path. I've wondered how to get my first LNC case. So that you can see how varied the legal nurse consulting path can be, I present stories of three of my colleagues, highly successful legal nurse consultants. Here's the first one. In my childhood, I wanted to be Perry Mason. While I was home having babies, I received a brochure for a seminar on legal nurse consulting. Later, I realized I was interested in the law, but I didn't want to be a lawyer. When I saw this brochure, I wondered if this could be the niche for me. I called five lawyers I knew to ask if they had ever heard of legal nurse consulting and if they thought there was a need for this kind of work. I received two cases from five calls, and I was in business. That's the story of Mindy Cohen, who started Mindy Cohen and Associates and rebranded her company to On Point LNC. She successfully sold her company. Let's see how another LNC got started. While waiting to catch a flight at the Richmond International Airport, I started a conversation with a fellow passenger. We discovered we were both nurses. Diana was working as a nurse paralegal at a local defense firm. She was happy to learn that I worked full time in a post-anesthesia care unit at a tertiary teaching hospital. She asked if I had ever done expert witness work. I had no idea what she meant. Diana explained the role briefly to me as she gave me her business card. Send me your resume when you get back. We're always looking for nurses to review cases. I stuck the card in my purse. I spent a few hours polishing the document and sent it to Diana. She promptly thanked me and said she would keep me in mind for future cases. Six months went by and I heard nothing. Then the phone rang. It was Diana and she had a case she wanted me to consider reviewing. I agreed. Dana Jolly is based in Virginia and runs a successful LNC business. And our last story is from nurse midwife Shirley White Walker. She said in 1986, while I held a dual position of certified nurse midwife and hospital administrator in the OBGYN department at a major teaching hospital, a colleague approached me to review a medical malpractice case involving a nurse midwife. I remember being surprised that she would ask me, primarily because I had no clue what I was supposed to do. I had no knowledge of the role and the function of an LNC. I was concerned about being qualified to meet the attorney's needs due to the inexperience I had in my field. Ultimately, I contacted the attorney who was based in Florida and represented the plaintiff. At that point, I embarked on a journey that would change my life. If you like these stories, you'll find a whole lot more as well as tips to get started in my new book, Get Your First LNC Case. You'll find it at lnc.tips forward slash creating series. Order the instant download or use the button to head to Amazon for the paperback or Kindle copy. Don't wait any longer to start.